lemon laws have been adopted in every state, the District of Columbia, and at the federal level to protect consumers from manufacturers who sell defective or low-quality products on purpose. But what exactly is the lemon law? And how does it affect you as a customer? These are just a few of the topics we'll cover in this video. This is Alpha Law Firm, and today we will discuss all you need to know about the lemon law. However, before we begin, please subscribe and push the notification button to be notified of each new upload. What is a warranty? A warranty acknowledges that the manufacturer or seller did not create a perfect car or product. Unfortunately, not every vehicle or item is built to perfection. As a result, the manufacturers or dealers provide a warranty or promise to restore the thing if something goes wrong within a specific time frame. What is Lemon Law? Consumers who purchase defective autos are protected by state and federal legislation. These regulations, dubbed Lemon Laws after a slang phrase for a faulty car, give the buyers the option of having the issue remedied, receiving a replacement, or receiving a refund. Although a federal act applies nationwide, some state laws may have a greater scope or provide additional consumer remedies. Several states' consumer protection laws have broadened the term lemon to include other commodities, including animals. The term lemon originated in the early 20th century as a slang term for a faulty car. It sprang to prominence due to a self-deprecating print commercial for the Volkswagen Beetle that appeared in 1962. The term lemon became associated with the significance of strong consumer protection laws that deter vehicle dealers from withholding damaging information from purchasers, thanks to a paper written by economist George Akerlof in 1970, titled The Market for Lemons. Lemon regulations are based on two different sorts of warranties. An explicit confirmation is a statement regarding a product's quality, made by the manufacturer, distributor, or seller. The basis for an implicit warranty is either common law or statute. It has a more extensive scope than an express guarantee, and is intended to ensure that items satisfy a basic standard of quality and appropriateness for their intended use. Manufacturers, distributors, and retailers in some situations are required to fix any problems in their products, replace a defective product, or refund a customer's money. Lemon laws give consumers a way to have these duties enforced. For example, lemon laws do not apply if a seller sells a car as is, and the consumer buys it knowing that the seller has disclaimed all guarantees. Understanding Lemon Law Lemon laws differ from state to state. These laws usually apply to new car purchases, although they can also be used for other investments or leases. The consumer may only have a certain amount of time to report a lemon purchase. In Illinois, for example, the deadline is 12 months or 12,000 miles, whichever comes first. The effort to have the government control consumer goods began in the early 20th century. Still, the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act of 1975, which only covers products sold with a warranty, is the cornerstone of lemon legislation. Legislators have dubbed similar legislation lemon laws in the past, primarily when they are intended to help customers resolve recurring issues after purchasing a car, boat, or other large ticket goods. Depending on the jurisdiction of the problem, the consumer may file a complaint with the state or another entity to seek redress. This could result in arbitration, and proceedings where reasonable efforts to repair the car or product must be demonstrated. An example of lemon law. The North Carolina Lemon Law, for example, covers new vehicles, trucks, motorbikes, and vans purchased in the state and compels manufacturers to correct most issues within the first 24 months or 24,000 miles of ownership. Unfortunately, lemon laws aren't often identified as such. The Federal Magnuson Moss Warranty Act compels vendors of full warranty products to rectify defects within a reasonable time and free of charge. In addition, the Texas Deceptive Trade Practice Act, DTPA, covers a broad range of activities resulting in lemon troubles. Consumers can claim treble damages under the DTPA if they are harmed due to purchasing a good or service they could not have bought if the vendor had disclosed negative information he knew at the time of the transaction. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau was founded by the federal Dodd-Frank Act, introduced in the aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis. One of its goals was to protect consumers from bad investments. We hope you are enjoying this video. Before we move on, please like and share this video with your friends who may require legal assistance. What constitutes a lemon? In most states, a car must meet the following criteria to be considered a lemon. A significant issue covered by the warranty that arose within a specified time or number of miles after you purchased the car and was not repaired after a reasonable number of repair attempts. The lemon legislation only applies to new cars in most jurisdictions. Significant error. A substantial flaw, such as malfunctioning brakes or steering, is a condition covered by the warranty that impairs the car's use, value, or safety. Minor flaws like loose radio knobs and door handles don't qualify as substantial deficiencies under the law, 
The distinction between a small and a serious flaw is not always evident, as with most legal definitions. Some less apparent flaws, such as faulty paint jobs or foul odors, have constituted significant flaws. The severe flaw must develop within a particular amount of time or a specified number of miles in every state. Abuse cannot be the cause of the condition. Attempts to repair that are reasonable. Before your car is declared a lemon, you must give the dealer or manufacturer a reasonable number of efforts to rectify a significant fault. In addition, to be covered under a state lemon law, you must usually meet one of the following criteria. If the problem is a significant safety issue, such as the brakes or steering, it must be left unfixed after one repair effort. If the problem is not a significant safety defect, it must be left unfixed after three or four efforts, depending on the state. If a car is in the shop for a particular amount of time, usually 30 days in a year, to address one or more significant warranty issues, it may be considered a lemon. Refunding or replacing a car. You have the right to a refund or a new automobile from the manufacturer if your car fits the lemon law conditions in your state. Although the procedure for obtaining the relief differs by state, you must first notify the manufacturer of the fault in all states. In addition, most conditions compel you to go to arbitration before going to court if you are not granted a satisfactory settlement. Getting ready for a lemon law hearing. Manufacturers use a variety of arbitration programs. In many circumstances, the software will be chosen for you by the manufacturer. If you have the option, choose a state consumer protection agency program over a manufacturer's in-house program or a private arbitration program. Lemon Law Program of the BBB Auto Line. To assist you in resolving a Lemon Law claim, the Better Business Bureau offers a free dispute mediation program called BBB Auto Line. You have the option to go to arbitration at any time during the settlement process. The curriculum will walk you through every stage of the process, from gathering documentation to negotiating a settlement and navigating the arbitration procedure. Consumers who give extensive documentation and evidence have a better chance of succeeding than those who supply minimal evidence to back up their claims. Getting to know your state's laws. Although most state lemon laws solely apply to new car purchases, a few states have used car lemon statutes. First, check your state's lemon law for the meaning of new car. Then visit the Autopedia, Lemon Legislation America, or BBB Auto Line State Lemon Laws websites to learn more about your state's lemon law. Some rules will cover an automobile that has a particular amount of mileage on the odometer when it is purchased. In some states, the lemon law applies to used cars that were still covered by the manufacturer's guarantee when they were purchased. Get NOLO's Encyclopedia of Everyday Law, edited by NOLO, to discover more about leasing or purchasing a used or new car. This helpful book offers hundreds of answers to the most frequently asked legal questions by everyday Americans. What am I entitled to if I qualify under the lemon laws? Suppose your consumer good or vehicle is a lemon. In that case, you are entitled to a replacement or refund, which includes your down payment, monthly payments, registration, taxes, and incidental expenditures, like a rental car or towing costs, as well as reasonable attorney's fees and expenses. The manufacturer is also allowed to deduct a usage fee for the value of the miles driven up to the vehicle that was taken in for repair work, for the fault or flaw that caused it to be a lemon. That concludes our video for today. We hope you learned something. If you're new to the site, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications to be notified of recent uploads. And don't forget to visit our website at lemonlawyeronline.com. We'll see you in our next video. This is Alpha Law Firm, your online legal guidance.